Continued research shows there is a link between serious gum disease and heart disease. So brushing and fl flossing our teeth has more benefits than we can imagine. Cardiologist Elizabeth Clotus and heart disease survivor Essence Harris join us. Ladies, thank you so much. Dr. Clotus, uh, it's good to see you again. <laughs> It's wonderful. Dr. Clotus <laughs> nice to be was here you. last week uh, upon the invitation of the Dayton Heart Institute, and I had the um, honored opportunity to talk with her about uh, education and heart disease. So we welcome you back here to Two News. We appreciate your time again. Thank you so much. Um, let's talk about the little bugs that can live in our mouths that can travel and cause a lot of damage to our cardiovascular system. You know, there's very um, interesting research that is emerging between um, the, in terms of the link between our oral health and our heart health. Turns out, if you look at atherosclerotic plaque under the microscope, you know, this gunk that is building up inside our arteries, you will actually find some bacteria there. And it turns out that it's the same bacteria that's present in our mouth. So the connection between oral health and, and heart health is an intriguing one, and I think underscores the need for us to look at ourselves as an entire organism you know take a really holistic approach to health as opposed to just you know categorizing things into well this is my mouth and this this is my heart Every, everything's linked together certainly and let's talk to essence Harris who was in tip-top shape uh, uh, a professional dancer uh, an athletic trainer all of that you were doing all the right things eating well and you, were, you started having trouble after you were working out at the gym and doctors found that you had some heart disease. Yes, and at the age of 30, you know, during those workouts had shortness of breath and thought, you know, something is just not right and was very persistent in talking with my primary care physician and cardiologist and through a series of tests discovered that I did have severe coronary artery disease and so that was basically the telltale sign when I knew you know something was wrong and through you know this journey I have learned so much a wealth of information about preventive measures with heart disease and have partnered with womenheart.org to learn more information on how we can take our own personal health into our own ha hands and be more proactive. Dr. Clotus, what are some of the simple daily changes quickly that can help us maintain a good oral and heart health? You know, it, the, the things that we need to do are actually quite simple. It's what we know we should be doing every day already. Brush our teeth twice a day. Um, or more. <laughs> Use an antibacterial toothpaste such as Colgate Total. Floss regularly. Um, see your dentist for regular checkups and, you know, pay attention to your oral health. It really is a window to the, to the rest of your body. Dr. Clotus, it was great to speak with you again. And Essence Harris, thank you so much for sharing your story. We appreciate both of you. Thank, thank you. you so much for having us on.